The time, ten months after Vicky and Gus Angel were married. The main character, a husband who thinks he's sick. The plot, big men are little boys, and little boys are husbands. Betty White. Starring in Fate with the Angel. And Bill Williams as Gus Angel. Honey, breakfast! white as a sheet. Gus, you're burning off. Really? A minute ago, I felt like an icicle. I'll get the doctor. Oh, no, doctor. I'll be all right. Oh, darling, I know you're sick. Look at your hair. <laughs> Tell me where you hurt. Well, I've got a slight... I get a... It kind of feels... <laughs> Honey, I don't feel good. Well, we'll take your temperature and then we'll get the doctor. No, doctor. I, I feel fine. Now, don't you move. I'm just kind of sick. <laughs> Forget about the thermometer. Nobody can read them anyhow. I don't remember. Oh, Beth, my big boy. Oh. Honey, don't make a big thing out of this. You don't think I better go to the to the office today, do you? You most certainly are not going to the office. I'm going to call. Oh, Gus, hmm? do you realize we don't have our own family doctor? I don't want a doctor. Have you checked the yellow pages? <laughs> Better than that, I'll call Wilma. She'll know somebody. Now, open up. Oh, honey, they, those things taste like frozen spaghetti. <laughs> All right. Let's see your throat, then. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> honey, don't call Wilma. I have to call her anyway and cancel the baby shower. I can't have ten girls here this afternoon with you feeling like that. Of course you can. I'm not that sick. You sure? I'll stay right in your bedroom. I won't bother a show and I won't hear a thing. Got you put that thermometer right back in your mouth. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wilma? Vicky, do you know a good doctor for Gus? He's a pretty sick boy. Well, you put him right to bed and keep him covered up and give him lots of hot lemonade, and then the minute he starts to perspire, turn on the heat pad. Well, I haven't told you what it is yet. <laughs> oh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know. He just aches all over, and I'm sure he has a fever. Oh, honey, what he needs is a good doctor. Well, that's why I called you. Do you know one? No, the only one we know is Dr. Gordon, and... <laughs> I'm sure Gus doesn't need an obstetrician. <laughs> Aren't they all the same when they're sick? Hey, you know, maybe a baby doctor might be the right idea after all. <laughs> Seriously, though, Vicky, with Gus in this condition, you better call off the shower. Wait, not till this afternoon. We'll see what the doctor says. <laughs> 
sweetheart. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, don't ever try. You sure you can't eat a little something? Maybe later. Put my bacon and eggs in the refrigerator. <laughs> That'd be clever. Yeah, now you try and drink. This. Oh, no, no. Well, don't you want a magazine or something? No, nothing, honey. I'll call Mrs. Drake and tell her you won't be into the office today. Mm-hmm. Vicki. Yes, darling? <laughs> tell her I'll try to make it tomorrow. I'll tell her. Now, you rest. Vicki. Yes, darling. Are you going to leave me here all alone? <laughs> well, I'll be right back. I have to call Mrs. Drake. Tell her I'll try to make it tomorrow. I will. Now, you just... Oh, I know. Sooner or later, you get to use all your wedding presents. Now, if you want anything, just ring Aunt Miriam's bell. Is it heavy? <laughs> it's as light as a feather. Now, you rest, sweetheart. Oh, honey, don't come too close. This might be an epidemic. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's community property. <laughs> yes, dear? Just testing. <laughs> I bet that's the doctor. Here, you put this thermometer in your mouth. The phone's ringing, doctor. Which one is this? Mrs. Angel, Mrs. Clemson's friend with the husband who has the sniffle. Oh, yes. Do you have a routine for this, doctor? If the occasion requires cheering up, I have the appropriate jokes. <laughs> Hello? Mrs. Angel? Yes? Dr. Gordon calling. Mrs. Angel? Yes. Uh, this is Wednesday, and the two men I had in mind are out of their office. Golf is a stern taskmaster, you know. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Only every once in a while I... What's wrong with your husband? <laughs> well, he seems to have a slight... He gets a... He... <laughs> he just doesn't feel good. Have you taken his temperature? Well, I'm taking it now. He's in the bedroom. Is there any rash? No, doctor, no rash. Uh, how are his eyes? They're blue. <laughs> his eyes are blue. <laughs> in other words, they aren't red. Oh, no. no. He just aches all over. Has he any sore throat? He's being very brave, Doctor. He won't say. We got a brave one. <laughs> Try to cut through his courage, Mrs. Angel, and ask him if he has a sore throat. I will. <laughs> Why don't you answer the front door and let me speak to your husband? <laughs> well, my husband's ringing the bell. What's he doing outside? <laughs> He has a little handbell from Aunt Mir I Anyway, I can give you his temperature now. A hundred and ten. What? <laughs> oh, that isn't right. It, it, it's a hundred and fifteen? <laughs> if it gets to a hundred thirty, sell. <laughs> Here it is, Doctor. He has a temperature. A hundred and six. Oh! <laughs> Look at it again. Are you sure it doesn't read a hundred and six tenths? Oh, you're right, Doctor. A hundred and six tenths. Is that very bad? I scarcely think it needs hospitalization. <laughs> what do you think it is? Oh, the common virus is going around. Get him into bed and give him a couple of aspirin. I think that's enough. Really, I'm awfully worried. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you're worried, I'll try to drop off on my way home. 
this isn't a baby. This is my husband. <laughs> Mrs. Angel, we obstetricians are also MDs. <laughs> well, I'd really appreciate it. I hate to put you to so much trouble on your afternoon off. No trouble at all. You see, I don't play golf. I broke my caddy. <laughs> You've made me feel better already. <laughs> oh, and Doctor, do you suppose we could avoid mentioning your, uh, your specialty to Mr. Angel? He's sensitive. Most brave men are. <laughs> I'll see you this afternoon. Thank you. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I was going to give a baby shower for Mrs. Clemson this afternoon. Go right ahead with the shower. Judging from his symptoms, you could have a cloudburst. <laughs> <laughs> My ear muffs. Oh, they're trying to be quiet. See? <laughs> what are you serving, feathers? I asked you if it was going to bother you, and you said it was not. Come on, back in here. They're just having fun opening woman's face. You try not to listen. Try not to listen. It sounds like a turkey farm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Any of those. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh -huh. Vicky, look what I just got it from Gladys. He isn't fat. You can never have too many of those. Oh, <laughs> oh the lumpy one, dear. It's from me. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> well, Dr. Gordon, I oh. wasn't thinking you should soon. Quite understandable. I'm usually expected only by the expectant. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Gordon! Oh, nice to see all my alumni association. <laughs> well, doctor, what are you doing in the... Vicky? <laughs> oh, isn't there something you want to tell Dolly? Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. No, Dr. Gordon came to see Gus. Gus? Gus? <laughs> That's really quite remarkable. I can't even get Carl to wash his own socks. <laughs> Oh, well, well, but it looks as though you'll have to share your views with Gus. <laughs> Dolly, the only reason Dr. Gordon volunteered to come over here today was we couldn't get a real doctor. <laughs> I, I mean, a, a family doctor. <laughs> That's right. I started to go to the back door when I realized it wasn't a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he hysterical? <laughs> Better the doctor than the patient. <laughs> oh, where is he? <laughs> On the other end of that bell. <laughs> oh, and doctor, pardon me, you won't forget, you're not going to mention your, um, your specialty. Oh, I won't. <laughs> What's he doing? Peddling ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Mr. Angel. Now, that wasn't so bad, was it? <clears throat> Nothing to it, Doc. This will put you back on your feet in no time. You stop by my office tomorrow and I'll give you another shot. Won't this one do? Oh, no. Besides, you'll need all your strength when you get my bill. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in there told a better joke. <laughs> Those women. I'll bet they really put up a squawk when they get a shot. <laughs> Some do. 
Do you treat many women, doctor? <laughs> I get my share. <laughs> Stacy, come in. Of course, Miranda. <laughs> you can relax now, darling. The girls are leaving. What is it, Doctor? It's a fine, bouncing, 185-pound boy. <laughs> uh, how do you feel? Oh, it feels fine. His temperature's almost down to normal. That penicillin sure works wonders. So does a good nurse. Uh, Dr. Gordon thinks I may be able to drag myself around by tomorrow. Do you think he should, Doctor? Oh, a good brisk drag through the park with a wonders for us. <laughs> Seriously, you stop by my office in the morning and I'll give you another shot. Your office? That's where I'll keep the penicillin. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Endo. Goodbye, Doctor. Oh, and don't forget, a friend in needle is a friend in needle. <laughs> Boy, that's a load off my mind. Oh, I'm glad you feel better. I don't mean that. We finally got a family doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly face to the sweater said it's just beautiful. No, dear, I'm the toy duck. Quiet, quiet. Somebody asking for me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I really must be running along. Oh, and tell Vicky I do hope Gus gets better. Nothing personal, Doctor. Oh. She's such a wit. <laughs> How is that? Oh, he's got a small virus. He'll be all right. Oh, my Dr. Gordon, before you go, is there anything that you, I should know you didn't want to tell Gus? Just about the pills I left. They won't do him any good, but they'll cheer him up. <laughs> Child psychology. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. at the door, Doctor. I'm going to Good afternoon, Mr. Tennant. Oh, hi, Doc. Goodbye, ladies. Hi, Vic. Hi, huh? Hi, George. Hey, you got a lot to lose, huh? That was your baby, Doctor. Wilma, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine, George. Really, I am. Oh. She. For a minute, I thought that was Dr. Gordon. <laughs> it was. He came to see Gus. Oh. You got the sickness. <laughs> oh, sure. How is poor old. Gus. <laughs> you, you, you mean Gus is being treated by a baby doctor? <laughs> now stop it, George. Uh, did he miss these all by himself? <laughs> Just a minute, sweetheart. No, George, don't you dare go in here. Wait till the boys down at the office here about this. <laughs> George, you can't. Gus doesn't know about he Dr. Will. Gordon. He will. George, no. <laughs> Honey, I'm making no promise. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Come <laughs> on out here. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Did you ring? Hiya, Gus. How are you, you dog, you? <laughs> well, not too well. Oh. Gus, what seems to be the trouble? <laughs> Well, whatever it is, it's, it's pretty unusual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Honey, not too fast. I'm still not strong. I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> What are you doing? My shoulder blade, it's just... Oh, come on. <laughs> now, don't make a scene. What's the big idea? I didn't ask Dr. Gordon to come to the house. He volunteered. I'll volunteer him right in the kitchen. <laughs> Vicky, how could you do this to me? Me, a full grown up man, being treated by a baby doc. I'll be the laughing stock of the whole town. Not a soul knows about it. And he promised not to tell. <laughs> Who promised not to tell? George. George? That's like taking out an ad. I'm going home. <laughs> hey, darling, you need that shot. Why don't the men come up here with their wives? He put all those women in there. 
They won't know the difference. They'll think you're an expectant mother. A father. <laughs> Sit down where? And where are all the men that come in here with their wives? <laughs> Room three, please, Mrs. Adams. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Angel. The doctor will be out in just a moment. <laughs> you sit down, sweetheart. You've been sick. <laughs> See, they're not paying the least bit of attention to you. They better not. <laughs> oh, Gus, I just thought of something. Miss Wakefield. Yes, Doctor. Oh, I think we can sneak you in now, Miss Ranger. <laughs> Angel in number four. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Angel? <laughs> There's really nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> well, next time, Mrs. Angel, let's, let's hope it's your turn. I'll be glad to remind the doctor about this, Mrs. Renfro. And thank you very much. Shouldn't Mr. Angel be out by now? It's been almost an hour. Well, I really couldn't say. You see, there isn't any precedent for this. <laughs> Get Gus out by the back door. Why, what happened? George knows he's down here, and I can't do a thing with him. Is there a back door? What? Yes, I... Oh. Where's Gus? <laughs> Where's that Gus? What are you going to do? I'm going to get a picture of him coming out that door with that baby doctor. <laughs> George, you can't. He's been embarrassed enough already. Holly, this is news. He's even got a baby shower arranged for Gus down at the office. <laughs> How's this for a headline? Insurance man establishes new policy. <laughs> oh, now, honey, this is just good, clean fun for the fellas down at the office. Thanks, Doc. Hold it. And thank you for selling me that insurance policy. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. No, I'm, I'm glad I bought that $50,000 policy. Gives me a sense of security. I'm glad you're such a good salesman. I'll send the papers around as soon as they're ready. Aren't you in the insurance business too, Mr. Clemson? Uh, 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 I'll send the company doctor around the first thing in the morning. You'll have to take a physical examination, you know. Oh, that's very good. The fact that I should have to take a physical. <laughs> He's a wet, too. Uh, your mouth is open, uh, Mr. Clemson. Uh, 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 George. If those pictures turn out, could we have about six large prints? <laughs> Got a date with an angel. Got to meet her at seven. Got a date with an angel. I'm on my way to heaven. 
She's so lovely beside me And forever betide me Got an angel to guide me I'm on my way to heaven Soon I'll hear the bells ring out And the choir will sing out When the pearly gates swing out Ah, she'll beckon to me I've been waiting a lifetime For this evening at seven Got a date with an angel And I'm on my way to heaven Thank you.